I'm here at Ho'omaluhia Botanical Gardens with Stacy Aldrich, who is our state librarian. Glad you could be with us today. Thank you so much for having me. You know, it's wonderful to see you whenever I do because I, I think of my youth growing up in libraries. Mm -hmm. Do you still have that same excitement when you see children coming in? Oh, it's amazing. It, um, kids get so excited when they get their first library card. It means that... You still uh, need the, one? You still need a library <laughs> card. Um, uh, they get their first library card and they can check out their first books and take them home and, and dive into them and read to their families and have their families read to them. It's, it's very exciting. You know, with, the, with all the technology, and I know the library is, is changing mm -hmm. to be technologically relevant, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, books are still really important. Very much so, very much so. We still circulate almost six million items a year, and that's mostly physical items. So I think we're, we're navigating physical and uh, virtual, and many people who have Kindles or eBooks, it's really easy to get them, but then they start to see the bills that rack up uh, oh. for how many books they're buying. And then you don't really have anything to show people. There's not like a bookshelf that yeah. you can show what you've read. <laughs> so a lot of people are coming to the library and are rediscovering all the services we have, including eBooks, so that you can download and read without having to pay. And there are no fines or fees because they just, they st you stop being able to use it. You don't, there's no late, char late charges on But you e still need a library card. You still need a library card, yes. And so how would one do it nowadays? Well, currently you just go to any library and um, with your ID and uh, something that proves your address and you can get a library card very easily. And from that moment on, you have access to all of our resources. And if you find resources in other libraries across the state, so we have 51 branches, say you're in Aina Haina and you want something that is on Big Island that doesn't exist on Oahu, you can have it delivered to you at Aina Haina. So we share our whole collection. Or if I'm on the Big Island, I can check it out too. Exactly, and bring it home and then just return it at Aina Haina and it'll get back to the Big Island. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I know the relationship with the schools has changed too, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. has evolved. Yes, yes, the schools are amazing and we're part of, libraries are a part of that educational ecosystem. So we're there working with the schools to support students when they're doing research and homework, getting kids ready to read with story times. Um, so we're definitely uh, supportive of all the education that's going on in our state. And at the beginning of the school year, you're particularly involved. Absolutely. Mostly around the fact that we have all these resources that we want to make sure that kids have access to. Not every school actually has a school library. Yes. And so public libraries are really important tools. So when they're doing research or it's um, late at night and they forgot their copy of Tom Sawyer, they can download it from our, um, if they have access at home, they can download it uh, to their device or to their computer and they can still do their homework. If they're learning a language, we have Mango Languages, which reinforces language. It's 72 languages, including mm. Hawaiian and Pirate. Um, so if they're learning Pirate in school, it's good to have Mango Languages. Pirate language? Pirate, yes. Pa pirate is actually a very complex language, <laughs> who knew? Um, and then we also have uh, resources like Press Reader, which is 6,000 newspapers and journals from around the world. Wow. And so if a student was studying a particular um, political uh, thing that was going on, you could see the perspective from around the world. So you could see what the Mirror is saying in London and what Le Monde mm. is saying in France. And um, the French papers, if you're learning French, you can actually translate them into English. So you can test your um, language skills. So What a transformation our libraries have taken. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and with all of those uh, new ideas that are now instituted, um, there's some challenges too. There are always challenges. Um, I think people's perception about libraries, the mental models of it being a quiet place um, where it's just books. It's not quiet anymore. It's not quiet anymore. <laughs> we have all kinds of program, programs going on. Um, in Kahuku, we have a maker space with sewing machines wow. and we have robotics kits. And um, in um, Kapa'a, we also have um, a maker space every day. We work with a local banker group um, uh, several times a week and they have 3D printing machines. So you can go to Kapa'a and learn how to do 3D printing. So. We have lots going on. There's story times. There are also quiet places for people to study as well. But um, our libraries are really about community, places where people can go, find access to whatever they need to help them be successful, and also be with one another um, in story times and programs where you can learn anything from Tai Chi to uh, learning how to do manga um, comics or seeing magicians or um, even uh, programs around STEM, getting kids excited about science and technology. So libraries don't have to be overwhelming anymore. Actually, it sounds like a, a place where you can 
play and learn and be creative. Absolutely. And we want everybody to come back and rediscover their library. Mm -hmm. And so multi-generations are there as well. I'm sure you see yes. grandmothers and children and mm -hmm. grandparents bringing in their, uh, their grandchildren for story times or just coming in to read. I've seen parents with their kids sitting on the tiny little kid furniture reading together. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know, it's been, it's always wonderful to chat with you and to Thank hear you. the new developments at the library because it's, uh, it is a place that we need to value. Thank you. You've just had an opportunity to meet Stacy Aldrich, who is the state librarian. Appreciate you being with us.